guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access, and I'm with Olivia. Did I get that right? That's right. Yes. <laughs> and we are here, and of course, talking Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. Now, I've just been hands-on. Uh, we got to play hands-on with Dubai, which is actually the first level from the game, right? It is. Uh, Dubai is going to be the first level, the first introduction uh, for the players to uh, Mankind Divided. Obviously, we add some tutorial aspects so you can yep. get used to all the new controls. We uh, we changed quite a bit of things yep. with how the game is being played. Uh, obviously, it's a core. It's a, the core experience. It's a Deus Ex title, so you get all the gameplay pillars: combat, stealth, hacking. Uh, social interactions, but we really worked hard to add new augmentations, new ways to control Adam Jensen with a, a much more advanced cover system, for example. Yeah. So that's kind of the things that we introduced with uh, with Dubai. And just getting players into the groove of, uh, of the new themes of the game, which is, you know, the, the uh, all the segregation that you feel and the, the, the aftermath of the AUG incident that happened at the end of Human Revolution. So we set all these things up with, uh, with Dubai. Now, I've played an awful lot of tutorial levels in video games. Pretty much every game has got one. I don't think I've ever played one as in-depth as what Dubai was. Um, it certainly taught us what to do and how mm -hmm. to play, but you really were thrown into the action. Was that? Did you do that on purpose when you guys were making it? Like, we don't want to dumb this game down. There is nothing dumb about the mm -hmm. Deus Ex series. It is uh, a complicated game with lots of options, yeah. um, but I've never played a tutorial with that many <laughs> options. And everybody in the room, there's about eight of us playing, no one played it the same way. And but well, that's that's great. That's great to hear. That's really the beauty of a Dare Sex game is you can play the way that you want, right? If you want to be more a stealth player or non-lethal player, that's something you can do. If you want to go in all guns blazing, that's that's great too. And with Mankind Divided, we uh, invested a lot into the the combat pillar. Uh, not that combat is more important, but just to bring it kind of the same level. To bring it up to where stealth was. Exactly. So now it's a, it's a game about choice and consequences, and and the uh, the element of choice and how you play is very important. So with combat uh, at uh, more like solid level compared to Human Revolution, now it's, it's a real option for the player. Uh, as In terms of the, the tutorial, yes, it's a game that there's a lot of mechanics. Uh, we're still kind of working on the, uh, the tutorial aspect right now. What you played is work in progress in terms of the tutorial, but for us, it's very, very important that we introduce uh, all the different possibilities to the player as you go through the early parts of the game, and then you know we pace that in a way that you can actually learn them, and then after that, off you go and you can just play however you want. Now, talking of work in progress, the game has been delayed about six months now back to August. Yeah. As a studio, what can you do with six months? I mean, to us, uh, we're waiting for the game and it sounds like a long time, but what I played here today felt really solid. Yeah. Um, six months sounds long, but when you're in video game <laughs> development, it, it just flies by really quickly. Um, yeah, I think that in terms of all the, the mechanics of the game, all the ingredients of the game, the story, everything is there. We can actually play the full game right now. Um, but we wanted to have a, a bit more time to really polish the uh, experience, making sure that the story comes through, that, that everything is really well balanced, well polished, that we don't, don't have any bugs when we, uh, when we launch the game in August. So uh, these few months will be very valuable to just add that layer of their sex polish that we all expect, and it's for us. It's an investment in quality, and uh, we're really, uh, uh, you know, lucky to get uh, the support from Square Enix to be able to uh, bring it to uh, the quality level that players expect and that we expect. And I'm sure the community have been very supportive as well. I'm sure they want to get the best Deus Ex experience yeah, possible. Absolutely. And they deserve it. Um, now, we played the Diwali Theatre level, which you said was more of an expert map in the sense that it was later on in the game. We did get a lot of chance here to flex some of the new augmentations and some of the new things you've added into the game. Menu systems, lovely and smooth now. It was just a uh, tap on the touchpad of my mm -hmm. DualShock, able to pull up the whole menu system. But being able to change the gun on the fly, yeah. That was very interesting, especially with your uh, wanting to bring something extra to the combat. Mm. Uh, how in-depth can people go? Because at one point I was changing out to silences so that I could do a bit more damage mm. without getting caught. But yeah, there's yeah, a lot. You have a, you have a lot of depth to the game. We, you, know, you have different ammo types that you can mix and match depending on the, uh, the enemies that you face. So let's say you face a, a robot, uh, you know that the EMP bullet is going to deactivate yep. it. So then you can mix and match with the armor person to really take it down. Uh, more efficiently, so players that want to explore different options with weapons, they we definitely have a lot of depth. You have different types of grenades as well. So, um, you know, all the new augmentations that we bring with uh, all the um, the augmented arm of Adam Jensen, you yep. can actually use really fluidly through uh, through combat right now. Um, it, 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 there's a lot of options for the player. What we 
uh, gave you today. We gave you a few loadouts pre-configured, but as the, you know, as the player uh, goes through the adventure and builds his own uh, Adam Jensen, then you you have time to kind of absorb and get used to your augmentations as well. So uh, it's it's really about, and it comes back to what I was saying, balancing all the different options for the player, making sure that the game supports it. We don't want the players to be overpowered. We want them to be challenged, but at the same time, we want you guys to be able to use augmentations. That's a really cool part of the game. All right, final question then. Tell us your favorite augmentation, maybe one we haven't seen yet. What has been your favorite? I think you've seen a lot of the new augmentations. I think my favorite one would be uh, the, uh, the nano blade. So uh, we knew from Human Revolution that Adam was using his blade in takedowns only, but now you can actually use it as a projectile. Okay. And it's, it's very silent, very deadly. You can even up upgrade it so it's, it acts as an explosive device. So it's, it's very versatile and it just looks really cool. It does. I've, it sounds awful when you say it out loud, but I've seen people sort of pinned, yeah. pinned to that's, walls yeah, by it, yeah, it yeah. at the end. It did look really cool. I think I saw that in action at Gamescom. Yeah, possibly. No, yeah, I think we showcased that. Yeah. Very impressive. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm going to go back. I didn't finish Diwali Theatre. I went in balanced. I think I'm going to try all guns blazing because I went totally stealth for Dubai. So I'm going to go back and play and um, see how well I do. Cool. Have fun. Thank you very much. Right, thanks.